Welcome in adventurers. This is Cohalen's Adventures channel update number 114. It is Wednesday, April 10th. Um, into the numbers. We were at 3,732 adventurers last week. We are 3,774 as of this morning. Um, a little slower growth than over the past couple of months, but even the weeks, it 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 would be bound to find find its regular route after Nam and that sort of thing. So the the big jumps have seemed to have stopped, uh, but maybe they'll come back after this weekend. We'll see. Uh, I'm calling this one "Into the Deep" because I'm going to be seeing Dirty Loops, and that was the first song I heard them play. Uh, I believe the Adele, Rolling in the Deep, sorry. Um, and I believe that's an Adele song. Never heard her before uh, that and had never heard that song before them. But I was so blown away by the, the three players' uh, musicality and, and just higher level performing uh, that I became an instant fan. That's going to happen Saturday. Um, oh, and the the watch hours were went from forty six point eight thousand to forty seven point nine thousand, and that's cumulative over the lifetime of the the channel. So um, last week I had other possibilities of things to see, but I just went to the one show, Don, Randy, and Quest at the Baked Potato. It was their first time hosting the people or the artist that um, they go and play with every year in Iceland. His name is Olaf, uh, pardon me, Geir Olafsson. And uh, he's kind of, I would say like a lounge entertainer, but he considers himself the Frank Sinatra of Iceland or something like that. But uh, very entertaining, very high energy, uh, good footwork. Uh, unfortunately, you won't see any of that. Uh, I managed to get some footage of the show, but because of a snafu, um, five or six of the songs were reversed so that instead of looking towards the stage, it was getting the um, little plastic QR code for the menu. Uh, so that was, you know, disheartening. Uh, when I got back to check them out. Uh, luckily, I discovered it because there was a, a low battery notice. So I I plugged in and gave the phone power and then discovered that it was not oriented in the right direction. So I corrected that. Um, but I got a lot of Don and the band. And the band this time was, uh, for the first time since I first started seeing him, Bernie Dressel uh, on drums. His brother Jonathan has been doing those duties for the last year or two. Um, and Bernie's gone off to his BBB, uh, Big Band Bash, whatever it stands for. Uh, he had a group called Burn before that. And I'll be doing an interview in, with him right after this today. Uh, so you can see that on Sunday. And uh, the other members of the band were uh, H. Chris Roy on bass instead of Jerry Watts, who normally is there. Uh, they they back and forth interchange depending on availability. And uh, Pete Corpella, who is the normal uh, percussionist. Uh, I've seen um, Billy Hulting in that spot a few times. But they had a horn section this time, which is very cool. Brandon Fields, who you've seen many times on this channel. Uh, Brian Scanlon, who's kind of legendary uh, trumpet player, has played, I believe he played with um, Andrew Ferguson, or who has it, I guess. Uh, Chad Willis, who played with Bernie, I think for New Year's, uh, not Bernie, with uh, Don Randy and Quest for New Year's show. And a new guy, Nick, N-I-C-H, not K, Lane on trombone. So two saxes, a trumpet, and trombone backing the band 
for the songs that uh, Gear Olufsen sang. So uh, you'll hear them. They're great. The camera angle that I had from when I did get footage blocked, didn't get the whole right side of the stage. Uh, so every once in a while you'll see Chris Roy there. Um, might see Brandon Fields. You won't see the rest of the horn section usually, but you'll hear the sound. So check those videos out. Uh, this week, oh, and who I could have seen Saturday, uh, I did see a Dave Garfield live stream, uh, live stream with uh, Greg, B Greg Bissonette and Jimmy Earl. That was really fun, really good to see. So uh, check that out if you can. It's probably on replay now. That was on Saturday. Uh, I, I had a bunch of choices that I could have seen. I could have gone out to Rancho Mirage to see uh, Music of Al Jarreau with Tris Imboden and uh, Kiki Ebsen and Lenny Castro and a bunch of other people. I saw pictures and, and some commentary from that after the fact. It looked like a great event. Also at Soka, Roger McGuinn was playing. Uh, that's a little closer, probably the closest of all the possibilities. And then uh, The Cookies with Alan Hines at uh, Urban Press. I didn't go to any of them trying to save up money for this week because this week could be very busy. Um, also, I didn't go to see Aaron Janik, uh, the trumpet player that I saw with Tom Rotella band. Uh, and I'd also first seen him with Myron uh, McKinley. Um, Rebirth of the Cool uh, shows, video. Uh, amazing trumpeter. I just holding money and uh, getting ready for this coming couple, couple of coming up weeks. Uh, today I have the interview at 10, very shortly, with Bernie Dressel. And I have possibilities of Andrew Sinewick at the uh, Baked Potato and John Cleese uh, at, at the Grove City National Grove of Anaheim. I call it Grove of Anaheim. Um, I probably won't see any of those. Um, Friday is a Garden Amp Tribute Bands. I got tickets from a show I was up at uh, the 1881 room to uh, see the, the Ricky Z videos, if you could check those out. The bands are tribute cover bands for Tom Petty, uh, George Harrison, and Steely Dan, and possibly more. Uh, it's, tickets seem to indicate maybe these are the So Petty, The Country Squires, The Dogs, Rattlesnake Stew. So I don't know who those are referring to, but that's um, on Friday. And then Saturday... The Dirty Loops. I don't know if that's backwards for you, but uh, I've been waiting for this for some time. They're going to be at the Fonda Theater up in L.A., right on the Walk of Fame area. Uh, I have parking about a block away, fairly cheap, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think this is one of those mostly standing shows, but I've told that there's balcony seating, first come, first serve, so I might see if I can get that if the seating isn't, you know, stretched to one side or the other. First time there, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but that's the exciting main show for the week. Uh, there's possibility, if I'm crazy and loaded with money, which I'm not, uh, of going out to Bogies, which I haven't been to for a long time. It's like 90 miles one way. Uh, to see Robbie Krieger and the Soul Savages, which has Brandino Bass on on bass and um, uh, Ed Roth on keyboards and I don't know the, the drummer um, but that's a possibility it's a little pricey they may be sold out by now I don't know um, Monday I'm hoping to see Blanco Diablo I missed them the last time prices are reasonable it's uh, Matt Rohde on keyboards Jamie Kyman guitar Catisse Buckingham on sax and flute Dave Goodwin on bass, who I've never seen before. Joy DeLeon, who I've seen, but I can't remember where or with who. And Andy Sinesi, who I've seen with um, 
Coriel, um, not Larry, his son, <sighs> Julian, Julian Coriel at the trip. He was a drummer with him and Rick Fierabachi and, and Matt Rohde. So you can check out those videos. I have those up. Um, and that's Monday. And then Tuesday, going back to see Jody Showcase at Project Barley Brewing. And that will have um, Bill Champlin and his wife Tamara Champlin and John um, Townsend of Sanford Townsend Band. I've got a bunch of videos of him up there already from both at the trip and also from Jody Showcase. So you can check those out from before. I did get approval of like two or three Tamara and maybe one Tamara and Bill from the last time that they appeared. I'm hoping to have better luck this time uh, or at least get some of those videos from the past time released so I can post them now um, because they asked me not to. Even though they posted the videos that I took on her channel um, so we'll see what happens but that's the week and then the following week has a lot of interesting possibilities but you'll have to wait for that one um, and and that's pretty much it for the week as always get thee to a concert much love take care